Okay, I bought the Asus EPC900A. This is what it looks like. Small, compact. Uh, comes with Linux, well at least the one I bought comes with Linux. Really the only way to go. Has these little tabs at the top like work and internet. And it's, it's not bad performance. Not if you're just surfing the web and typing a Word document or whatever, but anything else you probably want to upgrade it which is I'm gonna, which is what I'm gonna do today I'm gonna upgrade the uh, one gigabyte of RAM that it has in there to uh, two gigabytes I'm also gonna upgrade the solid-state drive inside it has a four gigabyte hard drive and upgrade it to this uh, super talon 16 gigabyte the read write speeds on this is about uh, I think it was like 50 and 100 so I should speed it up. Uh, first thing I guess you got to do is oh oh four gigabyte. The first thing you got to do because the BIOS that came with this only allows one gigabyte max until you upgrade it. Um, to upgrade the BIOS, you can just go to the Asus website. Easy, just download the BIOS and it tells you exactly how to upgrade it. Um, I've already done that, so now I'm going to install the two gigabyte hard drive or two gigabyte RAM stick and the solid state drive Let's see if I shut down it's usually pretty quick I need to go ahead and take out the battery Sign. Okay, now the little back panel right here is where the internal solid state drive is and where the RAM is. Just gonna take these little screws out. One from over here, don't lose them. This little back panel is pretty easy to remove. Just stick a fingernail in there and just lift up. See right here, here's your uh, mini PCI Express solid state drive. Like I said, mine only came with four. Extremely small, not enough to do anything with, so I'm going to upgrade that to at least a 16. And then here's your RAM right here, which is only one gigabyte. So to change out the RAM, just pull these little two little pins up here, push them out. Yeah, okay, I don't know if I do it with one hand, but crap. Hang on, let me see if I can get it. Ah, motherfucker, hang on. Okay, now that I got both hands free. Both it to the side. I should never do this, but oh well. There we go. Just pops up. When it pops up, you just pull it out. Put it over to the side. And then put in this 2 gigabyte. I'll stick here. Pretty simple. Just put it in right here. Shin. Oh, there we go. And that's how simple that was. For the solid state drive, it's a little bit. There's an extra step because if you look right here, you'll see a, a screw here and a screw there. So screw it. But still not difficult. The difficult thing is making sure you don't lose those little bitty screws in the inside this little internal part. Wouldn't be good for your hard drive, your motherboard. There you go, that one pops up too. And this one you just pull out just as well. It's just that simple. Now for the new mini PCI 
E 16 gigabyte drive. Just slide it in there, sort of at an angle. If I put it in the right side, there you go. Push it back down. Okay, we're gonna put a little screwdriver. screw in there and I'm going to be putting Ubuntu the netbook remix on there that way I have SSH on there I can install any other Linux programs I want to a little back plate put it on there two little screws and we should be done Now, since I'm installing the Ubuntu Remix, and this solid state drive doesn't have any uh, operating system on it, I needed to download the Ubuntu Remix image onto my little thumb drive here. It's only a gigabyte thumb drive. And the instructions are all on Ubuntu.com, and I'll boot it off this little thumb drive.